this is an emergency. Brought to you by a legal alien. So if you remember this example, we talked about your pre-existence before being born into this matrix, date of birth, this dash that we're in now, and your date of death. Just had a good friend that died today. And I'm sure he didn't expect that his date would be today in his dash. That's why you never know. But anyway, he's back to where he was before he was born. While we're here, we're experiencing this matrix. So let's look at it a little bit. So space and time supposedly came from this Big Bang. So if we know the start of space and time, then there must have been something before it, right? Right? And there must be something after it, which is what was there before space and time. So this is what we're experiencing in this dash in between this birth date and death date, right? This is what we're experiencing. A spiritual beings having a human experience. Our whole human experience is within this matrix. Let's just call this matrix space-time or the physical reality. Now, we know there's a such thing as a quantum computer. Quantum computer is not only a one and zero like a regular computer, but a one and zero. So it can be one, zero, and one and zero at the same time. So when you think about you being physical and non-physical, you can experience both at the same time because everything that makes up this matrix has a quantum element to it, including you. So this just shows the holographic nature of this reality. So when people talk about Jesus being both man and God, then that's what we're talking about. You can be both. And people like Jesus or Christ conscious people were trying to tell other people this. So when you awaken in the matrix, then you realize that you're a spiritual being having a human experience. Most people don't realize that. Part of why they don't realize that is because of belief systems and a lot of religions. And if you want to look at this as being a simulation, just look at the core programming that happens when you're young. You believe in the so it starts when you're young, before you get programmed into what we are, are indoctrinated into our educational system. But when you're young, the world is everything, right? And you have an imagination that doesn't distinguish between reality and imagination. When you're young, that's when they give you stuff like the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus and these things, right? And these things here all things to keep you scared, right? And when you grow up, uh, Easter Bunny doesn't exist, and this doesn't exist, but these things do exist, and these things do exist. And these people that create these programs know that, right? So this idea of Jesus is actually your personal experience, and we'll go through that. This thing doesn't exist, and this is what you are, right? This is everything. If God is everything, that's including you. There's nothing that's outside of God if God is everything. We'll get into that later. But they don't tell you all this. They tell you this person should be worshipped so that this person won't send you here because this person loves you unconditionally and that makes no sense. But you don't question that because that's part of the belief system. It's given to you when you're young. It's kind of like taking a little elephant when they're young tying a rope around its ankle and that elephant can't break the rope. That elephant is programmed that it can't break the rope. When the elephant gets bigger, that same rope that it can easily break detains it. Same thing. It's a mental program that starts when you're young and it just keeps going until you get older. And unless you try to break those chains, you won't know. And especially if the programming says don't break the chains and you can't break the chains, then most people won't. They won't even try. So most of these adults don't even question the programming that they got when they were little, right? Even though you're an adult now and you can do those things because they put the fear of hell in you, right? From a God of unconditional love. But the whole religious system is based on conditions to get this love that's supposed to be unconditional. Yeah, it makes no sense, I know. And we'll talk about this character because this character is in the Bible. And this is a, a false one that's in the Bible, right? Um, that wants everything in the matrix. And you can look at the verses there. We'll talk about that later. But there are creation stories in the Bible that predate this character called Jehovah or Yahweh that is jealous and likes burnt sacrifices and all of that stuff. All that Old Testament stuff is who people are scared of. And then Jesus is supposed to come in, but Jesus is supposed to be this God. But we'll tell you what Jesus was doing in a little bit because Jesus was actually against this inferior character who was just there to control and enslave the people. Look at what this God did to its own people and killed, you know, thousands of people in the Bible. But that's the program. You're not going to question this when you're older because of the same reason that we talked about earlier. But this is the game. And I can show you the game and it doesn't make any difference. But all of what I'm talking about, you can experience yourself. 
But it's tough to do that because the matrix just keeps on distracting you and just keeps on dividing and dividing and keeps us fighting each other so that we don't unite and realize who and what we truly are. Just like if you looked at this without looking through the whole video, this is a mess. And this reality is a mess, but it boils down to the individual. It boils down to who are you. That's why the spiritual journey is important because it gets to the root cause of all of the things that are going on here. And I think that's enough for now. And we'll get into this character right here, this false one in the Bible. And we'll get into that later. But I think that's enough for now. Peace, y'all. And it is an emergency. Don't, I've had a sense of urgency since I awakened in this matrix, right? And it's interesting. Some of the worst things that happened to me in this life, in this matrix, have been from religious people. Right? Look at the atrocities that have been done by religious people. The same people that Jesus was against. So let me just say this. This God that is talked about in the Bible is the same false God that's on the back of this money. Right? And do you really think the unconditional God of the universe cares about this fake stuff that we kill and do all of the crap to each other for? Right? So in God we trust. And you also, uh, while I'm talking about it, Religion and politics are together, the church and the state. The same church and state that Jesus was fighting against back in his day just co-opted each other, co-opted his story, made him into a deity, and didn't, didn't allow you to realize the divinity you have within you. Yeah, of course, they don't want that. They don't want you to awaken. So they give you a savior and say he's saving you from hell, from this God who loves you. And in the meantime, what's on the back of your bill? The same church and state, the same Caesar and the people that use religion to control the masses are here and still propagating the thing thousands of years later and still waiting for this character to come and save you from the idea that they gave you in the first place. Crazy, right? But I'm crazy for talking about it. I'm crazy for, you know, going against the church and state just like Jesus did. But even back then, people were programmed. That's why Jesus said, forgive them for they don't know what they do. They're stuck into these belief systems back then. And Jesus was talking to the religious people of his day, trying to explain to them that they're spiritual beings having a human experience. And the second birth, you know, forget putting yourself in water. This is a spiritual birth. But they were like, well, you know, water and going back in the womb to be reborn. They didn't even understand this back in the day. But now the level of consciousness has raised to where we can talk about these things openly. And we have an opportunity to change what's going on here. But the doors are closing because... <laughs> 